Davis, Jack Sprout, and Janet Fish on the outside. It's post time for the sixth. As we come to the post for this race, the 3-2 to two favorite is the number 5 horse, Shylock Raquel. Now, interesting about this horse, she hasn't raced in a couple weeks. She could come up a little short. Also getting lots of action is the 3 horse. That's Huff Time Flyer. He made his first start back to the races last week and demolished a group of non-winners of one race lifetime. The sixth race is now moving through the backstretch. And there they go. They're off and pacing as they leave the gate in the center of the track. It's Golden Pebbles driving out for the lead. Moving up on the inside, Armbro Buccaneer is second. Rushing up on the far outside, that's Janet Fish. Janet Fish up on the outside now to take the lead. Golden Pebbles on the inside, racing second. Armbro Buccaneer third, Jumbo Tire fourth. Another three lengths back, Huff Time Flyer is fifth. On the inside, racing sixth as they pace on around the turn is Shylark Raquel. On to the quarter pole they go with Janet Fish in 29-3. and three. Off the turn into the stretch, Janet Fish on top by one. Golden Pebbles on the inside second. Armbro Buccaneer paces third. Jumbo Tar fourth. Another three lengths back. Huff Time Flyer fifth. Shylock Raquel paces sixth. Top flight Angie is seventh heading to the outside. As the horses move to the clubhouse turn, Huff Time Flyer to the outside. It's Janet Fish on top by one length. On the inside racing, second, Golden Pebbles. Third at the rail is Armbro Buccaneer. Huff Time Flyer edges up to take over fourth, reaching the half in 101 and four. Pacing on around the paddock turn with the late Janet Fish, and there goes Golden Pebbles to the outside. Golden Pebbles on the outside takes over the lead. Janet Fish is second. Huff Time Flyer on the outside now takes over third. In at the rail, fourth is Armbro Buccaneer. Fifth on the inside, Jumbo Tar. Shylock Raquel on the outside, sixth. That's Golden Pebbles opening up three lengths now as they approach the three quarter pole in 131 flat. It's Golden Pebbles on top, but here comes Huff Time Flyer closing up the gap now. Second, Janet Fish is third. Shylark Raquel on the outside, and coming from far back is top flight Angie. They pace off the turn. Golden Pebbles with the lead. Huff Time Flyer is second, and top flight Angie charging up on the outside. On through the lane, Golden Pebbles and top flight Angie. It's Golden Pebbles and on the outside, Jumbo Tar. It's Jumbo Tar up to get it all. Well, Santa kind of suggested that Jumbo Tar had a shot because he was moving into a new barn. He goes off at 35 to 1. The favorite at 6 to 5, Shylock Raquel, did come up a little short tonight. Here's Jumbo Tar moving into the winner's circle, Tom Miller Jr. The trainer and also doing the driving. There's a good shot of him. This horse is owned by Clyde and Joanne Valetti of Bloomfield Hills, Michigan. Here he is charging up on the outside to nip golden pebbles at the wire. I'd say that's a neck. Jumbo Tar, the winner in 2-3, returning $75, 28 dollars 40 and nine seventy. The four-horse Golden Pebbles, five eighty three sixty, and number six top flight Angie four forty. The Exactor, three fifty three fifty, and the Triactor, one four and six, pays twenty six hundred ninety two dollars and seventy cents.